Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I just got a new microphone. So did one of my mates. So we decided to uh, we decided to shit post for like an hour, and uh, here are some of the the better results. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Scarce here, and welcome back to another wicked video today. We got a pretty bizarre story from PewDiePie. Apparently, he's quitting YouTube. What? OMG, that is pretty crazy, I mean, that's super crazy, and wow, what if he's serious, like, OMG, that would be crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, smack that like button, and don't forget to look out for my double upload tomorrow, that'll be, that'll be, right, it'll be right old double upload, so crazy anyway, bye. Does anyone else think May's farts are cold? Like, what if a nigga needs a beer? But that shit's warm as fuck, and May's like, damn, my guns are charging. So she proceeds to lay waste to my drink with her ass wind. And what if that shit comes out icy cool like the Niagara? Damn. Did 9-11 happen in the Cars universe? The thing I really like about planes is that we learn about World War II hap that happened in the Cars universe, which means there was a Cars Hitler, a Cars Holocaust, a Cars Pacific War, a Cars D-Day, a Cars nuking of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a Cars rape of Nanking, a Cars battle of Tujima. This leads to so many important questions like, were the Cars a little boy and fat man nuke sentient? Was it a suicide mission? Are all cars nuclear weapons sentient? Does Saar Bomber have a personality? What kind of car was Hitler? A VW? A forklift? Was there a Cars 911? Were the planes hijacked or were the planes themselves radicalized? I could go on. The puppets are so because they do not see how they are destroying their society. They are nothing but puppets to Stephanie and her supporter, much like the good-hearted people of Europe do not see how those they help out do not have their best interests at heart. In this genius representation, we then see the character of Robbie Rotten desperately trying to maintain Lazy Town, as it has always been, thus making Robbie be the stand-in for the right wing in general and the authoritarian brand of neo-fascist reactionary thought sweeping through the continent in a desperate attempt to preserve old Europe. Robbie always fails to make Lazy Town be lazy, and that is because they, puppets themselves, must choose to oppose the refugee Stephanie, so Lazy Town, and by extension Europe, be preserved as they always have been. Robbie Rotten is the savior of the white race. Yeah, let me read one for you while you while you mull over mull over your uh, your thing. Yeah, go ahead. How about go fuck yourself? I didn't ask for your opinion or impute, so go do whatever the fuck you do somewhere the fuck else. We didn't go see this movie for the fact we are DDLG or kink related. We went because I wanted to see the fucking movie. I'm the daddy. By the way, a 22 year old guy who fucking likes movies if they are good. So go fuck yourself because I'm planning on watching it again. And guess what? You can't fucking stop me, so you need to grow the fuck up. This isn't even inappropriate. You're just looking to start shit to move the fuck along, you piece of fucking shit. And guess what? I carry a fucking pistol on me to guess you have a problem about that too so just go to your safe zone where you can play big and bad like you have any fucking clue how this world works and quit trying to tell someone how to live their life if you got a problem you can come find me and my name is loveless bitch please read this out lay it on me daddy oh christ yep all right Cool. How do how do you want me to read it? Uh, any way you want to read it, my dude. <laughs> just just read it. I just want you to read okay. it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday during our scheduled furry hour, my seven-year-old refused to be cooperative right from the start. Eventually, he threw a tantrum, telling me, "I don't want to learn about furries anymore. This is stupid. I wish I could go to school like all the other kids." Needless to say, I was devastated. I tried to tell him that the reason I homeschool him is because public school system does not respect our beliefs and practices. I reminded him of the time his first grade teacher called child services because I barked at her during our parent-teacher conference. He didn't want to hear any of it though, so I just left him alone to do a math worksheet. I haven't talked to him today yet. I'm, tr I'm trying not to be upset at him, but it's so hard. Please, have any of your children gone through this phase with homeschooling? And if so, how did you handle it? 
thank you. That, thank You're you. welcome. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's this you said to me, my good friend? I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in conflict resolution, and I've been involved in numerous friendly discussions. And I have over 300 confirmed friends. I am trained in polite discussions, and I'm the top mediator in the entire neighborhood. You're worth more to me than just another target. I hope we, we will come to have a friendship never before seen on this earth. Don't you think you might be hurting someone's feelings saying that over the internet? Think about it, my friend. As we speak, I'm contacting my good friends across the USA, and your P.O. box is being traced right now. So you better prepare for the greeting cards, friend. The greeting cards that help you with your hate. You should look forward to it, friend. I can be anywhere, anytime for you. And I can calm you in over 700 ways. And that's just with my chest set. Not only am I... Fuck! Not only am I extensively trained in conflict resolution, but I have access to the entire group of my friends. And I will use them to the full extent to start our new friendship. If only you could have known what kindness and love your little comet was about to bring you. Maybe you would have reached out sooner. But you couldn't. You didn't, and now we get to start a new friendship, you unique person. I will give you gifts, and you might have a hard time keeping up. You're finally living, friend. <laughs> Holy shit, my voice is so raspy. <laughs> oh, go get a drink or something, that was great, dude. Thank you for listening to that shit show of a meme fest. If you did enjoy, please, please subscribe. I need a subscriber. I need a subscriber. Because I plan to do more meme like this. They are high quality meme. You should subscribe for these memes.